Hey, everybody. Beer Chris checking in again from San Jose, California. Uh, there's actually a pretty strong craft brew scene out here, and I've been making the rounds, checking out the uh, places to go. I actually spent the last couple of weeks before I came out here uh, seeing uh, what there might be, like what the scene was looking like. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's a few spots around town that uh, somebody that's into this kind of stuff will want to hit. For instance, right now I'm at ISO Beers. And uh, if you read some of the info about this place, and also based on the Wi-Fi password, uh, that's going to stand for uh, In Search of Beers. And indeed, if you are in search of beers, this is where you need to come. Uh, i got to say, I think of all the places I've hit so far, and now we're at the end of the week, there's been a few. I am liking this place the best. Uh, they've got quite the taps. Let me show you what's going on here, if I can hit the button. Uh, yep, yeah, that's just half the wall, and there's the other half of the wall. You'll see the four uh, nitro taps down there. Yeah, good sign. Uh, and then there's a whole uh, retail bottle situation back behind me there uh, somewhere. You might be able to see it. Yeah, there it is. Um, apparently the uh, laws out here in California are a little different. You can actually uh, buy some stuff to go uh, if you want to. So that's kind of interesting. I may do that later uh, at the next place I go. Uh, but uh, let me tell you what's going on here today. I love it when this happens. Uh, I roll up into a place and it's, hey, it's Tap Takeover Day. And it's not just any old uh, Tap Takeover. It's Founders Day. So, uh, yeah, uh, if the signal holds up, uh, let me show you what's going on here. Let me uh, flip this bad boy over for you right here. Um, we've got, uh, yet again, I'm actually not having the KBS. Uh, I had a little sip of the uh, the Backwoods Bastard there. Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, I didn't get end up getting a full of that one. Um, I did a Sumatra video the other day. Uh, if you're into the, the pretty strong roasty coffee thing, that one's for you. Uh, go with that. Uh, Founders Porter, of course. You can uh, get that pretty often. Um, but let me tell you actually what I ended up working with today. Uh, so the, the first one we did was the Drake's Draconic. And that was one of those that uh, I've been talking with my stout people uh, throughout the week here as I've been out here getting some recommendations from my California natives, letting me know uh, what I should do. And they said, dude, if, uh, if you see that Draconic again, because I told them, like, oh, yeah, I saw that on the menu a couple times. I wasn't quite sure. And they were like, dude the next time you see that get it uh so i did and they have it here and now i understand why so uh that bad boy is a uh, a barrel aged uh, selection as you know that's definitely what i like working with and that one was quite tasty uh, i like that a lot um let me tell you a little bit more about the second one i'm having though because uh, that's what i got in my hand right now uh, this is going to be the, the field work uh, coconut, and it's spelled a little funky. It's like cocoa, not like, you know, the cocoa and the coconut blended together. Uh, and as I've mentioned a couple times already, um, if you're going to mess around with the coconut, you better put a whole lot of it in there. And, yeah, mission accomplished on this. Uh, I got a little bit left. Let me show you here. I've been enjoying this one thoroughly. The nose on this is tremendous. Uh, it's all coconut. Yeah, I mean, it's like 98% coconut nose. And like, oh, right, yeah, it also happens to be a beer. And the other 1% might be like a chocolate kind of a, a, a aroma going on there. Um, and the, the nose is very, like, yeah, it lets you know what you're signing up for. Uh, you get huge impact of coconut when you drink this thing. And I love it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why Maui, like, you know, just kind of, like, teases you with, oh, there's a couple of little strands of coconut we throw in there. Nah. Uh, this thing is massive coconut, and I love it. Um, that's the way I prefer it. You know, if you're going to do coconut, go all the way with it. So I was... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to put it in the good problem to have category, but the menu here is awesome. Like, I had to sit here for, like, 10 minutes looking it over. I'm like, man, uh, they don't do flights, which, as you know, is pretty rare for me anyway. So I, I kind of got forced into just doing a couple here, uh, full ones. And, of course, I did the Drake's first, as recommended. That was awesome. Let me get the full name on that one. That's the yeah, Drake's Draconic, technically a bourbon barrel-aged, uh, probably imperial style. Yeah, nine and a half on that bad boy. Uh, and actually 10, I think 10, and uh, yeah, right on 10 for this uh, cocoa nut, cocoa nut thing. Um, I like skewed local when I can, so, you know, I'm coming out here. I, I saw some Lagunitas stuff on the board. Uh, I've had 
a lot of their things that are pretty good. They're actually in Chicago now, too. It surprised me. But, uh, hey, they're getting good distribution. Uh, but, no, I, I went to, with the, the real local stuff, the stuff that's right around here. I mean, Logan is pretty much is, too. They're north of San Francisco. Uh, but being down here in San Jose, you get access to some interesting things. Like, yeah, I mean, this thing, the, the coconut note, incredible. Uh, really, really good. And there's a, a good amount of chocolate in there, too. So I would certainly classify this as, uh, you know, coconut first, uh, chocolate second. And the blend is really good. Uh, super strong, roasty coconut. Like, I should say toasted coconut. No, not so much on the roasty notes. Uh, so it's nice and smooth overall. And so you get more of the, the toasty kind of vibe on this one. Uh, so a lot less on the roast. Obviously malt, of course. Um, but more toasty. Yeah, you get the... Just a ton of coconut on this. I'm loving it. Uh, and the chocolate in there, too. So, yeah. Um, let me show you around the place here a little bit. Um, I am liking the vibe here. It was super hot here today. Um, but you got your little outdoor patio there. Uh, you got some tables and stuff inside. I showed you. Yeah, you got your uh, refrigerator case back there. So, yeah, there's people hanging out uh, everywhere around here. And uh, it's good times. So, Yeah. This is uh, Beer Chris checking in from ISO Beers. Cheers. Enjoy.